Article 4 of our state constitution gives the legislature the power to pass a budget. The governor proposes a budget, but ultimately it is the legislative branch of government that decides, subject to the governor's veto or blue pencil, what is our state budget. That is the separation of powers. Today, we vote on a budget that represents the legislature's view of California's future. I want to join in the comments made so far to thank Senator Leno and Senator Lara and Senator Nielsen. It's extraordinary work. I don't think you're making minimum wage, as we often suggest, because you're working late nights, and it's just an unbelievable amount of work on behalf of all of us. And I just personally want to thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for your hard work. Now, a budget is really a statement of our collective priorities of going forward. As expressed by Senator Leno, I am proud of this budget, of our investment in education, child care, the environment, and especially our energy and water infrastructures. There are hundreds of areas covered in this budget, as alluded to by Senator Leno. Today, in my remarks, I want to focus on one, sustaining one of our most unique and historic institutions, the University of California. Our future as a state is tied, as it has always been, to the fate of the university. Has the University of California made various mistakes over the years? No question about it, absolutely. But we are talking about the long term, the big think, about supporting the institutions that are foundational to who we are. But of course, we must maintain our, the UC's universities, the University of California strength to maintain our own. UC makes critical contributions to both our economic future and to the future of all Californians. A couple of numbers. First, for every dollar taxpayers invest, the University of California generates nearly $14 in economic output for the state every single year. That's $46 billion in economic activity produced from our 10 campuses. Second, UC researchers produced more than 1,700 inventions last year, more than five per day, many of these relating to the green energy and clean tech and kind of things that are so fundamental to some of the messages that are coming out of uh, the pro tem's uh, 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 vision with respect to where we want to go for California. UC attracts $8.5 billion in annual funding outside of California and bringing in revenues from other jurisdictions. And these are some of the economic contributions, but its role is broader in contributing our culture and innovation and problem solving. In 2015, some of you may have heard this, U.S. News and World Report ranked five of the top public, uh, five of the ten, excuse me, the UC ranked five of the top public ten universities nationwide, with Berkeley and UCLA being number one and number two. In the 2014 Washington Monthly rankings, which focus on social mobility, research, and public service, UC campuses are four of the five top universities in the system. And the 2014 academic ranking of worldwide universities, four public universities are in the top 20. All are University of California campuses. Today, we vote on a budget that does more for UC. And as Mr. Leno says, Chairman Leno indicated a lot for the uh, Cal State University system uh, than it has for past budgets that we've, when we had the tough times. And all I can say is thank goodness for that. But as we go forward, let's strive to invest year after year more in higher education. Let's make sure that those investments, ladies and gentlemen, are real ones and not illusions. Let's make sure that the University of California and Senator Block, the Cal State University system, can realize those investments and use them for our students. Those investments are ultimately the investments which form the foundation of the state of California. I ask for your I vote on this very important measure. Thank you.